Okay, here's a good way of thinking about dopamine and in drugs in general when we're trying to learn the different mechanisms of agonists and antagonists. So I run a presentation called How to Study Effectively and Apply it to Medicines and Pharmacy and this is a slide from it. So basically if we look at dopamine, uh, whether we're decreasing dopamine or increasing dopamine, we can get this kind of seesaw action happening. So when we decrease dopamine, so this can be for any reason basically, so this can be because they've taken an antipsychotic medicine, this can be because they've taken some dopamine antagonists that work as anti-nausea medicines, or this can be because they just have Parkinson's disease. Uh, when they take any one of these medicines, potentially uh, they can get extra pyramidal side effects. So that's basically the movement disorder of Parkinson's disease, so uh, akathisia and tardive dyskinesia. So basically, high doses of, D, of these medicines, the antipsychotics and the dopamine antagonists, um, that decreased dopamine can basically cause drug-induced Parkinson's disease, because in all these situations, we're just decreasing dopamine. Now, on the other end of the seesaw, when we increase dopamine, so we potentially can get psychosis or amesis, so basically nausea or vomiting. Uh, now, this can be caused for a number of reasons as well. So this can be caused due to the medicines that we use to treat Parkinson's disease, so Parkinson's disease medicines, and it can be caused by alcohol or a number of illicit drugs as well. They can also increase the dopamine. Now we can see with this kind of seesaw action that we can use one on the other end to treat the other end basically. So we can obviously see that Parkinson's disease, um, when we have that drop in dopamine, um, we can treat it with Parkinson's disease medicines. Similarly, say if you have a big night and you have too much alcohol and you feel quite nauseous, we can treat that with the anti-nausea dopamine antagonist. Um, same deal with a lot of illicit drugs, like if it puts you into psychosis, uh, we can treat that with some antipsychotic medicines. So this is a good way to think about basically any type of medicines when we've got that pairing of agonist and an antagonist, and you can see the opposite effect of each other. Uh, if you'd like me to run this presentation at your university, just reach out.